Hi there, in this video, we're gonna look at how to get the user's current location inside of an Ionic and React application. If we select the Get Location button, it will go ahead and ask our user whether they want to allow geolocation access, and we're gonna select Allow Once or Allow while using the app. When we do that, we, for a very small moment, see a dialog which says Getting Location. Then after getting the location successfully, we display the current coordinates on screen. Now, we wouldn't usually do this. Instead, we would take this to a maps or another sort of use case that you want to use the lat and long for. But as this is just a tutorial on how to get the location itself, we'll just display it on screen. Now, if we don't allow permissions for the geolocation or there is another error, for example, if we just go here and we set the location to be never and we click the button again, we get cannot get user location, check permissions. Now that is done with an eye on toast and we'll be taking a look at that and many other concepts inside of this video. So to get started, let's go ahead over to the terminal and create our Ionic and React application. So if you don't have the Ionic CLI installed at this point, you will need to install it by using the command you can see here on screen, installing it globally with the dash G tag. Then we can type Ionic start to create a new project with the name of Ionic Geolocation, or simply add this to your project. Then we'll select React from the drop-down menu. We'll use the blank template, and this will go ahead and create a blank starter using Ionic and React. We will select Yes for the capacitor integration. And once that has completed, we can CD into Ionic Geolocation. Then we can install by saying npm install at Ionic native slash core. We'll also need at Ionic native slash geolocation. And finally, Cordova dash plugin dash geo location. Install all three of those plugins into the Ionic geolocation folder. We can then sync this with capacitor by saying Ionic cap sync. And finally, open this up inside of Visual Studio Code or an editor of your choice. Before we go any further, I would like to say there is an article for this video over at developer.school and I'll put that inside of the description. If you'd like to read this alongside or instead, check that out. Now I'd like to start a local development server and run this on an iOS emulator just for our example. And the easiest way to do that is by running Ionic serve. So we'll run Ionic capacitor run iOS dash L and dash dash external. This will start our development server and open up Xcode so that we can play this on the emulator. From within Xcode, hit the play button and this will run this on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which I have selected. Or alternatively, it will run it on a device that you have connected currently to your machine. Of course, this is specific to iOS. You can do this on the web or any platform that you want. We can start by going over to the components and inside of the components, we'll make a new file. We'll call this one geolocation button.tsx. And here we'll make a new React component by saying const geolocation button. That will be of type react.fc for functional component. And we'll set that to a brand new function. And we'll also need at the same time to import react from react. We'll export the geolocation button as a default. And a functional component does need a return statement. And that will be what we're going to render. So we'll say return. And from this, we'll simply return an ion button. So we will need to import the ion button and that comes from Ionic React. We'll set the current text of get location. And we can go over to our home.tsx 
And where we have this explore container, we can simply put our geolocation button. We now have a button which says get location. We can now for the purposes of our tutorial, go ahead and center this button using a div with the class name of container and sticking the button inside of that. And if we go to the explore container.css, we can just take the container class, add that to home.css, and there we have our centered button. The first thing that we're going to build as far as the button is concerned is the concept of loading. So we'll say const and we'll make a use state hook here for loading and the ability to set loading equal to use state, which we'll need to import from React like so. That will be a boolean and we'll set it initially to be false. We'll make a new get location handler, which will be an async function that will just for now return set loading equal to true. Then whenever we are loading, we can have an ion loading. We will need to import that from ionic react and ion loading expects an is open. So we'll set is open to loading. We'll also set the message equal to getting location. We can then finally set the on did dismiss handler equal to set loading false. What this will do is whenever we are finished loading, i.e. when this has been dismissed, loading will be set to false. The easiest way to try this out is by setting the on click handler for our button equal to get location. Now, if we hit save and select get location, we should be able to see getting location and this ion loading on screen. Next up, we're going to add a try catch and the try aspect is going to be the position by using await geolocation dot get current position. That's not the geolocation button, that's the geolocation library. And that import comes from at ionic native slash geolocation. So that's going to return us the current position. We can then set the current geo position using a hook by adding the const position set position. That will be use state of type geo position. Geo position comes from the ionic native geolocation library. So let's use set position. We'll pass in that position. We can also set the loading to be false at this point. And in our catch statement, we can also set the loading to be false at that point. We can now update the coordinates to be the button text. So instead of having this get location, we can instead say if the position exists, we'll set the current position dot coordinates dot latitude and the current position coordinates dot longitude. Otherwise, we just want to display get location. Now we should be able to select get location and we'll have this allow ionic geolocation to access your location. We'll say, yep, allow while using the app. And when we select the button, we of course have the location on screen. We may want to display an error state so we can go and make ourselves a error and set error. Depending on the type of things you want to display about this error, we can simply just make this an interface called location error that will perhaps have a short error and it will also have a message we can type our use state by having location error we can initialize the error to be currently false so short error to be false and we can also set the error to have the show error of false and a message perhaps of undefined. 
That's going to happen whenever there is not an error when we get the geolocation. But if there is an error, we'll firstly check to see whether the message dot length is greater than zero on the message that we get back. That means if we do get an error back from the platform, we do want to display that. Otherwise, we want to display a simple message. So we'll set the message or cannot get user location, check permissions. We can then set the error to be showing and also set the message to be the message that we get back. Then we can display an ion toast, which we'll need to import. It does require an is open once again. So we'll have error dot show error. Now this is obviously very primitive. You can make this much more robust, but our message will be error dot message. Our duration will be 3000. And our on did dismiss. We can set this up if we wanted to, to set the error where we aren't showing the message anymore. That's going to be undefined. And of course, the show error will be false. Now, if we go ahead and change this to be never, that's our location access inside of our phone or emulator, we should be able to select get location. And then we get this toast message at the bottom here, which says cannot get user location. One final thing that we may want to do is head over to, of course, our home.tsx and change this from blank to be geolocation. So that about wraps up how to get the current location of a user using Ionic and React. We have looked at a very simple tutorial project here. We could, of course, go way more in depth. We could add Google Maps and some form of state management system across the board. I'd love to know what other React and Ionic projects you'd like to see inside of the comments. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe to stay updated with more content. I'll see you soon.